Court Clopping now in the Storm Tracker Center. And Lassen Park may have a lot of snow, but certainly not as much as we need in California this year. No, nowhere near it. Uh, Linda, at least here in Northern California, we saw over 60% of the average for April 1st. That was not the case in the Southern Sierra where they saw less than 50%. So getting a look at what we're seeing for today, no snow expected to fall, no rain in sight either. We've got warm temperatures this afternoon, but we're not going to be as warm as we were yesterday. Staying pretty mild through the end of this week. Temperatures still above average, and we'll see some clouds overhead, but we're staying dry. And then as we head into this weekend, temperatures are on the rise. We'll see 80s on the way for the valley. Outside this morning, it's a comfortable start to the day. I don't know if you're really going to need that jacket. We're in the 40s to low 50s in the valley and foothills right now. We're in the 20s to 30s in most of the Sierra and Southern Cascades, and we're still seeing some 40s out there in the northern mountains. So a mild start to the day, and one of the big reasons for that is the winds still moving out of the east, so some downslope winds across our region. We also have those clouds overhead that have trapped in the heat since yesterday. Now, the wind right now, not very strong, as you can see here. Nine miles an hour for Orville, five miles an hour in Red Bluff. We're going to see wind picking up a little bit later on today. 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the south. Gusts potentially up to 20 miles an hour. So that is something to keep in mind. If you suffer from allergies, that may be something you need to take some precautions for today. What's driving our forecast right now? Now, this is where we are. You can see Redding and Chico. We've got high pressure down to our south. That's the dominant feature in your forecast. But we've got this low pressure tracking through the Pacific Northwest. And what that's going to do is flatten out that ridge a little bit. So it does result in temperatures cooling off. It's also helping to spread those clouds through. Now, any chance for wet weather is staying just to the north of the Oregon border over the next couple of days. We'll see some clouds continuing to stream through on Thursday, but we're still just mostly sunny. And then as we head into Friday, it's sunshine on the way and more sunshine and temperatures getting much warmer this weekend as high pressure just builds up through our region. And you can see Sunday, no change of pace either. Sunday getting much warmer than what we'll even see on Saturday. As far as temperatures this afternoon, 60s to low 70s in the northern mountains later today. Mostly sunny skies, mostly sunny with low to mid 60s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothill areas expected to see 60s as well. 68 degrees for Paradise, 67 degrees in Forest Ranch, and 66 degrees in Megalia and Concow. And if you're in the valley, it is mid 70s on the way for your afternoon. Mostly sunny south wind around 15 miles an hour. 74 degrees for Redding, Chico, and Orville later on today. 75 degrees for Red Bluff and Orland. So get ready. Temperatures still above average, just not quite as warm as what we had on Tuesday. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. Mid 70s again on Thursday, Sunday to mostly sunny skies. Getting a little warmer on Friday as high pressure builds in. Upper 70s on the way. Low 80s now projected in the valley on Saturday, so we are warming up into the weekend. And we'll see mid 80s Sunday through the start of next week. And Linda, what you're not seeing here, not even a chance for rain looking likely through early next week towards the end of next week. That's when we could see a slight chance for a little wet weather returning. All right, thanks.